I'll take yeah. it from there, Pat. I think you're absolutely right. When you talk about this backlog, that is the trillion dollar question, maybe not a trillion dollars, but multi billion dollar question. If they can deliver, if they have no cancellations on that, it's trading at a four P of 12 and a half times. So when you look at Cisco, yes, it's been beaten up, but I want to be a buyer here. And I think you want to be a buyer as you continue to see them get market share in cloud. I think you, when you talk about the name itself, it has the ability to recover. So it will be fascinating to see if Cisco can kind of come back from really being beaten up, but there is value in this girl's name, Sully. We should have done this standing up between the three of us. It's, I think it's 19 feet, <laughs> one inch. We're ready for CNBC's big three team. That, that big yeah, three. We that's need a, to get in there. That's it. 19 feet, one. I think it would be the total. All right, Frank, right. thank you very hey, much. Hey, Brian, one yeah. other thing. Yeah. Margin's something to watch. Uh, the information had a report out a few weeks ago about uh, CEO Chuck Robbins saying he wanted to spend about a billion more dollars to retain workers. Margin's been an issue for this company. As they mentioned, they're redesigning products. They're sourcing from different places. So something else to watch. A lot of analysts look at when it comes to this company. Good stuff. Margin's very important, and they're paying people more. Agreed. Frank, thank you. All right, next up, semiconductors, NVIDIA. Now, Micron today, Micron announcing it would make more cuts to its capital spending plan. I think a lot of people are concerned maybe NVIDIA could be next. Christina Partsinevelis joins us. There's some worries out there. Well, I have some worries, but then if you read some lines from analyst reports close to a bottom, risk reward remains attractive, captures long-term opportunities. And this is all about NVIDIA. And those are three different quotes from three different analysts. So it seems like the street is, is some are even calling a bottom. Some are quite bullish on the stock. Uh, they're saying that data center revenue, which accounts for 57% of the quarterly revenue for uh, NVIDIA, uh, is, is going to be a strength. It's going to help offset the weakness from possibly mining and and crypto, we know that's been pretty fickle over the last little while. And you pointed just before to the stocks in general. NVIDIA stock has increased, what, 36% in just the last month alone? So will this continue? Is a lot of the bad news already baked into the stock? Another driver could be the fact that uh, NVIDIA said in August that they would have a $400 million hit in the quarter because of Chinese revenue loss. And that was because of the U.S. export rules uh, that were imposed. However, just, what, two weeks ago, they announced that they had had a chip that mm -hmm. would I shouldn't use the word circumvent, but got the, the green light, the green stamp of approval from the U.S. so they can provide this chip to Chinese customers. So maybe this will be seen as a good thing. However, the margins on that chip that they're going to be selling to China is lower, so that could hurt. And two of the major things, though, is data center revenue. Will that hold up and offset weakness else, elsewhere? And then will the Chinese revenue fall not be as bad as expected? And keep in mind, too, Meta. They announced that they were going to increase their CapEx. Meta wants to spend on AI. NVIDIA makes AI chips, could be a beneficiary. So we'll be looking for comments on that as well. There's the story from Christina, Jeff. What's the trade? Christina, great story. And I think the trade is you want to be a buyer here. To her point, you've seen a lot of this priced in. If you look at where it started in Sully in 2022, this was above $300. So it's come down dramatically. But what's interesting today is the Microsoft announcement. There is a deal. If you remember the movie War Games, Sully, remember the Whopper, the supercomputer? I literally watched it last night. <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm not joking. 100%. I, I, and I, we never talked about this. I literally watched it last night. Well, that's remarkable. What they're doing right now is they're building a supercomputer. So NVIDIA's GPUs, their graphic processing years, they're going to be buying tens of thousands. So Microsoft is going to be gobbling up tens of thousands of these chips, which is going to potentially put a bottom in this stock. But I think if you look at the 2 day moving average at 182, you want to be a buyer here. But you watch. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know how you, I'm not, I, we did not, to the viewer and listener, we did not talk, did we? No. <laughs> Mr. McKittrick, I've come to the conclusion that your system blank. I literally watched it last night. Don't, don't judge me, random, by the way. But interesting. That is random, but interesting. So is Christina. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Random, Christina. but interesting.